<laughs> you... You freaking freaks! You freaking freaks! When will you learn? When will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Idiots! In case you couldn't already tell from that intro, this is a new kind of video. I don't know if it's going to stick, probably not, but I feel like it's worth a little experimentation on the channel while I'm working on a new intro and new character sprites. So, let's talk about Sonic. A lot of people like to talk about Sonic, especially with the Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming out today. So, with that being said, Let's talk about it. Sonic the Hedgehog is an interesting franchise, let's put it lightly. It isn't exactly known for its maturity. It isn't exactly known for its subtlety. And it really isn't known for its quality in recent years. <laughs> if you think about it, the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise is weird. In its first game, you play as a hedgehog that's blue, and you're chasing an egg who builds robots out of animal parts to stop him from getting seven infinity stones to rule the world or destroy the world or enslave the world, whatever he wants to do with them. I don't think it's ever said. In its first game, though, I will say... It had a much better performance. There wasn't voice acting, which was around the time that Sonic started getting this connotation where he was a radical dude or voiced by Urkel. I've still never played a Sonic game before. Not once. Aside from little bits and pieces from the games I did acquire over time, I would grab them but I have lost Sonic Generations for the 3DS. I owned it on the 3DS. I remember I went to a fair and I was playing Sonic Generations on the 3DS and I got to like the end of the second level and I was like, yeah, I don't really care. And I closed it and I haven't played it ever since. <laughs> the concept, uh, I've, I've already said it. You're a blue hedgehog trying to stop a mad scientist robot egg man. However, I do like its simplicity. It is an older game, so there's not going to be much of a story to it. It's just going to be like a, here's what you're going to do, do it. All right, thank you. But on the bright side, because it is so simple, they get to focus on the gameplay, which is pretty good. Sonic Control is nice, and levels are all right. I mean, maybe a bit too many... Enemies and things that pop up out of nowhere, but you know, that's that's all right. It's all right. It's all right And also the last boss battle is crap. I will say that it is terrible. The last boss battle is bad. It is Garbage it is just random. There is no sign that he is going to pop up on any of them It's just oh there he is you better better hope you're in the right position to hit him or else you might get crushed or just not make any progress whatever <laughs> i mean it's fine it's not like it's not like it's, it took a while for me to get through the boss fight it's totally good it's 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 not good it's not good i don't like it it's not good it's not good the design of the game however is very good where character sprites fantastic they look really good and it's not much I can really say about them. The backgrounds also look pretty good. I like the colors. The music. It's just good. 
I feel like every Sonic game has that one song that you pick out and you're like, that's the one. That is the best song I'm going to hear in this game. Yeah, this game was no exception. It's called Spring Yard Zone. My personal favorite. I'll play a, like three seconds of it. I don't know how strict Sega is on their copyright music. Whatever, but I'll play a second. There you go. That's that's all you're getting. You aren't getting any more from that. But it's good. This game is uh, this format doesn't really serve well for ranking. But I guess I'll try my best. So when it comes to ranking the game, I do have to dock it a bit in terms of the RNG and the final boss battle. The fact that it is such a short game. I guess for its price, it is much better, but we're talking about personal enjoyment levels here. I wish it was a longer game, despite the fact that I deliberately picked this game because it was a shorter game. So I'm going to put it in between Ultimate Custom Night and Play Gink. It is bizarre looking at recent Sonic games compared to where it started. <laughs> like, there isn't magic genies and werehogs and parallel universes with past versions of themselves. There isn't scary CGI Sonic or less scary CGI Sonic. It was just kind of simple. However, the music did go way up in quality. A uh, Studioopolis, lights, camera, action. Sonic peaked right there. That was the best Sonic song ever. That best. Just a fact. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Actually, because I can listen to that song for a couple times at, at a time. But after that, a couple times, I, I want to stop it because you listen to the same song for so long, you just kind of get sick of it. And I don't really want that to happen with Lights, Camera, Action, Kasu Studioopolis. Fumble over my words there, but you know I mean? It's okay. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, that thing at the beginning about this being a different kind of video because of, you know, working on a new format. That's true. I am working on a new format. Uh, reviews are going to be uh, back, basically back the way they were in, like, last year, I guess. It's going to be very similar format, but updated. <laughs> new character sprites. I'm really going to try and make it more my own than it is how it was just because how it was was just kind of like a experiment that I kind of ran with and I don't know I feel like it was it's good but I feel like it could be better so while I'm working on that I may have to do another one of these videos um hopefully I don't just because I mean it was fun doing this video but I it was a pain to set up. So thanks for watching. All support is appreciated. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I actually do that every single outro. Even though I'm not like in front of a camera, I always do the point. Just because it helps me enunciate the you.